Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncrate the Dianese Four Stroke Two. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Before we jump in and give you the download on the Four Stroke Glove from Dianese, do us a favor, do you a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way, you don't miss out on any of the latest gear reviews. Speed Addicts is always getting first look at the latest parts and gear coming your way in this industry. Subscribe and you won't miss out. If you decide you'd like to purchase a set of these beautiful four stroke gloves from us here at speedaddicts.com, well, we'd appreciate that as well. We make it real easy. There's a link right there in the description. They'll get you right over to the four stroke gloves. You can also shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Behold the four stroke. Uh, one of the highest end, um, like big on protection, beautiful looking, short format. I guess this is kind of a mid-length glove. It's not technically a real short one, but uh, this is packing a lot of protection in that shorter format. This is basically the little brother of the Dianese Steel Pro glove. That's what the four stroke is. And they both have that stainless steel knuckle and hand plate makes them unmistakably part of that family. So when it comes to the shorter format gloves, this is the head honcho from Dianese. So this is their best short format glove coming in and most expensive coming in at $299. Ouch, but it looks so good and it's got lots of protection here. It's from Dianese, you know, it's gonna be quality. It's CE level one certified, size is small through two extra large and let's talk about fit real quick. This fits just like the Steel Pro, the Metal Six. And um, if you've never tried on Dianese gloves, in general, most of their gloves are running pretty true these days, uh, according to moi here. Uh, nine inch circumference around your hand. You're gonna measure that with a string laid out by a ruler. Get the thickest palm circumference measurement you can. Go to that Dianese sizing chart at speedax.com and that shall be your size. I am nine inches uh, around and thus the size large fits me great. Now, when you're shopping for gloves, especially uh, full leather construction gloves, you're going to want them to fit snug out of the packaging. Account for about 10% break in. That is what leather gloves are meant to do, okay? So this is nice and snug out of the package for me. Once it breaks in, it's going to be perfect. And typically on these, especially these hard knuckle gloves, you're gonna feel tightness, uh, or you should, kind of right around the meat of your hand out of the packaging and just let that work in. Now, when it comes to fit and motorcycle gear, you really should be shopping at Speedax because we're gonna offer you no cost returns. If you don't get it right the first time, don't panic. A couple of clicks, you're gonna get that free return label from speedaddicts.com and you'll be able to return or exchange whatever you need to do to qualify. All you have to be doing is living in the lower 48 states and make sure the gear is brand new in the original packaging. Give us a shot on your next gear purchase and we will make sure to treat you like family. Okay, let's look at this beautiful glove here. You do have multiple colorways. This is of course the black on black on black version. They've matte, matte finished the, uh, the steel plates here but let's work our way from the fingers back up this glove. The whole chassis is going to be goat hide. Goat hide is nice and light. It actually gives a little bit more than bovine leather. So as far as the breaking goes, it is superior to that bovine leather. It's a little bit less expensive, so manufacturers like to use it to keep the cost down. Apparently, Americans aren't eating as much beef as they used to, so bovine leather is actually a little bit more expensive than the old goat. And so, and they can more carefully control the thickness of a goat hide compared to bovine leather. So it gives you a nice, uh, better touch and feel on the palm of a set of gloves. Okay, so that's what this thing is made out of. When it comes to ventilation, you're gonna get perforations here on the inside of the fingers. Now, this glove's a great option for folks that want big protection, but they don't want the heat, the bulk, the trouble of climbing into a gauntlet every time they're getting on the bike. So spirited street rider is who I would say this glove is targeted for. Now, you're gonna get a little bit of ventilation here through the fingers, not a ton through the uh, meat of the glove, but as you get back into the hand where this gauntlet would be on the Steel Pro, making you all hot, they've done away with that and they have perforation uh, all through the back of the hand. So it's gonna flow a little bit more air than, uh, than the Metal Six or that Steel Pro gauntlet. Now, the rest of the glove is very similar. So as we work our way down, you're gonna notice TPU hard sliders, uh, protectors underneath these digits here. These are wrapped with that goat hide, so they're not shiny 
are cheap looking. They look premium because they're nice and wrapped and kind of concealed. As we move over to the top of the hand, you notice uh, we have a Corian stretch here and then the stainless steel knuckle protector. You want to intimidate, you want to make sparks, but really you want to protect your hand. And when it comes to stainless steel, it is going to do the job there. The back of the hand, you get another plate. Between the plates, you get four accordion stretch panels. So yes, this doesn't give you as much flex out of the packaging as say like the Druid glove that uses carbon fiber that usually gives a little bit more. You're gonna have to wait for this glove, the actual leather to break in a bit, but because of all that accordion stretch, it's really not bad right out of the packaging. Okay, as we work our way back, you're gonna see at the end of your wrist bone between uh, your hand and your arm bones, you're gonna get a slider. That's a more TPU hard slider protection. That's gonna come in handy should you make uh, contact with the tarmac. We're gonna leave the pinky for later. We're gonna roll over and check out this thumb. No hard sliders here. This is all soft foam. It's gonna be a little bit more friendly to longer rides as opposed to that Metal 6 or um, that Steel Pro that have hard, hard pucks on the knuckle. Okay, now we're gonna roll it over and there's still plenty to go here on the palm. Stay with me. Let's check this out. The crook of the palm, you're gonna get reinforcements. So you get two layers of that goat hide to prevent premature wear. This is the high wear point here. And then you're going to get the patented Dionysi grip pad. So it has different levels of these little grip feelers here. They even put their logo. It looks cool, but more importantly, it's gonna allow you to grip rain or dry. <clears throat> and uh, it's also gonna prevent that uh, premature wear. It's gonna reduce the hand fatigue because this thing's making a lot of uh, contact with your rubberized grips. Okay, now when we move down in the base of the hand, you do have a carpal, carpal bone protection, both over here on the scaphoid. This is a soft pad, okay? And they might have decided to go with a hard slider here if they would have consulted with me. I think the more slide, the better, but they went with that soft pad. Still, something's better than nothing. The big sliding pad is over here on the outside of your hand as I roll that over. So it's gonna work in conjunction with these hard pinky sliders, right? So no matter if it's a high side or low side, you want to slide. You do not want to stop and stick and cause joint injury. So that's why you're seeing on the high end gloves, they have pucks here. So you have a nice fat puck across the meat of your palm. As we move down the pinky, just like the Metal Pro, this is the same sort of protection package as, uh, sorry, the Metal 6, the Steel Pro, and those Druid gauntlets. You're gonna get a three piece TPU slider set as well as the DCP distortion control plate. Now this is their, how they're handling pinky roll. You see how that's gonna keep your finger down, this plate right here, instead of using kind of the traditional uh, finger bridge where they attach the pinky to that uh, ring finger. Now this is nice because it feels more like natural movement off the glove. Your pinky's not tied to your ring finger. A very smart way to kind of handle that pinky roll problem right here. Now when you're trying to get into the glove, they're just giving you one strap, uh, very straightforward. You get a little bit of elastic here in between the Velcro. And uh, this comes up pretty far. You have a nice big tab to pull on this glove. That about does it for the four stroke here. You're gonna get a one year warranty from Dainese. If there's a question I didn't answer, don't worry, Rider Sport is standing by at speedaddicts.com where yes, you can always talk to a human over the phone, live chat, or emails. If you already got a set of these four strokes, they have been out for a minute. Let us know how you like them in the comment section below. We know when, especially when it comes to these high-end gloves, folks have a lot of opinions. Please share them. Don't take my word for it. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.